Okay, here we are standing in front of the University of New Haven's new academic building, North Hall, which will house Math Zone. So we look over, and there it is right there. I guess they'll be planting some grass a little later. So what we're going to do is take a walk over and check it out. Now it's supposed to be open. Let's see if it is. Oh, there I am. And it's open, yes. Little ante room. Now this 102 here, this is going to be for fire science, as is 104. And there's the men's room and the ladies' room. And this will be math zone. Wow. Good afternoon. Take a little walk around. Now there's going to be something like 64 stations approximately. Some along the wall. And most of them in this arrangement right here where a student, when they arrive, logs in and works independently on their particular math course, whether it's the old 103, 109, or 115. And it should be, it should be set up so that they can't browse away from the- All right, these are the uh, coordinators of the math zone, Adam and Craig. And they'll be welcoming students on uh, Monday morning, along with the instructors, uh, tutor, tutors, instructors, and student instructors or right. tutors. Okay, this is a little control center. Now, could you just talk me through what the students need to do when they first get here? Sure, sure. Where's that swipe card? Uh, they're going to swipe their ID card, their UNH ID card, so we know that they are the actual person their name matches up here, right? On this and, monitor. Right, and records their time of entry and record, records their time of exit so we can make sure that they're here two and a half hours per week for a three hour class. And that keeps track of it. That's right. And there are printouts here at the uh, printer that monitors can uh, and the verify. And lockers for their uh, valuables. These are for students? Yep. Th those are for the students. Yep. Okay. Each one of them allows the student to type in their own pin code, put yep. their objects in there, and then close it, and then only, their, only they can get it out by typing in the right code again. Instructions are in the cabinet. Okay, it's sort of like the safes in our hotel room. Yeah. Where, a lot where each different. time... Do we have like the default key for that? Because it looks like there's a way to, there should be a key to open those in yeah, case. Yeah, as a default. There's, there's a master number in there. Okay. Okay. Even better. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, we're all excited, waiting to get the program going. I read Joseph's uh, email today. Really was I, succinct. I and uh, email. I left him at like. Yeah. We got. This and is, this everything is, is good. Briefing to the dean, and well, actually to the, the seven hundred students. And uh, they'll be giving a little briefing at the beginning of tomorrow's lesson as well. Right. And uh, so just come, ready to learn, and. Uh, so I think it's going to be a very positive. All this material I gave you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I must have missed some word because I messed up on what my password was. I thought it was the same as my uh, email, but it, it was a little different. Absolutely. And that'll be explained. I came here the other day and I was literally telling him exactly that and we're still messing it up. So okay. <laughs> well, we got it right now. Well, okay, gentlemen, this will wrap funny. this up. Keep it short.